Hello and welcome to another Monster Hunt. We're hunting the Great Moor Herd of Bloodfjord, which I thought was actually a mammoth, but when we look at the enemy forces, it's a lot of dwarves. Who I believe are actually meant to be tracking some mammoths. So we might see some mammoths appear in the battle. I'd be disappointed if none appear. It says reinforcements expected. Will that be more dwarves? Will that be the Moor Herd that both of us seem to be hunting? So that's what I think is going to happen, but we'll see. Okay, so we're actually playing a defensive battle. Let's take a look at the terrain. Okay, so there's a little uh, choke point here with a little uh, blue square. So I wonder if that's where the mammoths are going to spawn, and we're going to—they're going to be between the two forces. So they've got a lot of slayers which are going to do some real damage to some of our monstrous units, we'll have to watch that as well those bolt throwers which are anti-large but our normal, if we can get our champions in against those slayers they should do a good job but we really need to then get our monstrous units on their more standard infantry and their ranged not too concerned about their artillery, we can probably get our flying units in to take that out. But of course if there are mammoths in the middle of the map that could cause a problem for both of us. They could of course go towards them or they could come towards us. not have the vast numbers it once did, my lord. The last of the mighty herd is now just a single family, including a protective mother and her young. Stop the vengeful dwarfs from slaughtering them. The calves are especially valuable. If they are tamed and trained, they will be a great addition to your army. Okay, so these guys are technically then now allies. Well, it says Slay the Legendary Beast, so... I guess we do have to kill them? I think it probably would have been more interesting if we were trying to protect them, but... That would be quite a unique twist on these uh, monster hunts. Well, we'll see. I mean, it's showing them as blue, which is normally implies their uh, allied unit. Yeah, it says to slay it, so well, we'll push up and we'll see if we can target them. Uh, our ranged units could really do a good job if we are. So the skin wolves, they're anti-large as well. We'll put some Vermeer on the flanks. Uh, let's move our artillery up, just stuck in a little hole there. But we do need to keep an eye on what those dwarves are doing. Got Roman at the back. Okay, so that's us set up, and we know the dwarves are going to be over in this area, but we can't see them at the moment. Okay, so no, we can't target them. It's telling us to slay the legendary beast. Okay, let's um, keep our artillery back. Okay, so it is an allied army, okay. So we've got to defend these mammoths, so that is a nice little twist. Okay, so they're already getting a lot of firing very quickly on those units. But we can get our hell cannon firing in on their lines. Target those slayers. Maybe try and slow these guys down a little. You know, those mammoths might just trash them anyway. <laughs> but then those mammoths are pretty powerful.
Okay, then we're going to swing our mammoth around the outside here. Going to pull those skimmers back because they're not going to do good against those slayers. Let's bring those guys in. Let's get some uh, spearmen on those slayers as well. Send a manticore over to deal with that. Where's our frost swarm? Actually, we'll swap sides. We'll, we'll have that one do that. And our mammoth should be able to take care of their ranged without too many problems. Okay, so that mammoth is taking a bit of damage. Let's debuff some of these guys. And we should probably do some direct damage as well. Mira doing a good job there. But we do want to get our skin wolves in the fight, so let's uh, narrow their formation a little. They're starting to retreat, which is good. Okay, that mammoth is starting to rout. Ideally, I'm wanting to get my champions into those guys, but we've got to work with what we've got. So let's swing those guys around. Always love zooming in on the mammoth. We've got a lot more over here. But we're getting our support in now. Those for me aren't going to have a great time against those slayers. So I think we're going to have to pull them out. Let's get some of our ranged. And their lord is coming in, so let's get our wolfric over there. Some little boost. these guys up as well. Okay, let's try this fuck of doom. See how it does on those wolf warriors. Chipping away at it. Not as effective as I would have liked. Our mammoth is doing a good job. Okay, but we're starting to push up now. Hidden foes, oh dear, we have more dwarves coming in. Okay, that's not gonna be good for our hell cannon. So we're gonna we're gonna see if they can push it really fast. Okay, these guys are all starting to break now. Okay, let's get our uh, champions back there. Should be able to finish off these slayers with our spearmen. And where's Wolfric? We get Wolfric in as well. I think their lord is starting to break, which is good. Okay, we're gonna have to kill our mammoth back here. They're doing their best to outrun the dwarves. So we've got little chaos dwarves being chased by these dwarves. They're actually, they're actually outrunning them. Okay, they've got some artillery of their own, so we're going to have to bring our ranged units back to deal with that. Let's get our mana core. There's some grud throwers back there. These guys should be able to hold a line. Ok, 
Okay, let's get up from here to back them up as well. And we're going to have to use our skimmers to ch chase down these archers. Okay, where is Kyle? Okay, we should be able to get these guys in. Okay, what have we got over here? More slayers. Okay, we can't send those from here in against those. We'll push those down the centre. But we don't want to send our mammoth in against those, so we'll swing that around that way. Okay, they're doing a good job. Need a good charge against this archer unit. There we go. Okay, let's turn that one around. So they've brought a whole unit of slayers around the back here and they're targeting my wizard. Let's try and pull him out. Flying units are going in. I'm not sure how effective our uh, champions are here against these guys. But they're holding a line. So we're going to have to send our Vermeer in because we need to back them up. Okay, our Hell Cannons are starting to fire. Get some debuffs in there. Okay, we're taking their artillery out of the fight. Let's push all of these guys down into the battle. And let's drop some of their armor more. Close layers at the top, and most of these are almost destroyed. They're all retreating, it's just this center here we need to break. Let's see if we can get Wolfric involved. It's quite far from the action. Okay, let's start getting these around, around behind them. I mean, I know they're slayers, but if this moment we just plows straight through the back of them, that should be about it. There we go. So it's just those couple of units that are holding out now. And yeah, that's that's them done, I think. Unless there are any more, there we have it. So that's pretty fun fight, a nice twist on the monster hunt for actually protecting some monsters. And all of these come through okay. So yeah, quite an enjoyable fight. One of the better monster hunts. Okay, so those guys did an excellent job, 150. 121 for those champions. Mammoth, as always, 252, and even now Hellcannon got a lot of kills, even though amazingly it actually got away from that dwarf. I guess if we were if they weren't being chased by dwarves it probably wouldn't have got away. But they were nearly as slow as, as our guys pushing up the hill. Wiped out all of the slayers. Yeah, that's quite an enjoyable little monster hunt. Definitely one of the better ones. But we still took quite a lot of damage to those champions, so um, I think the veterancy was what really won won those fights for us.
on that final charge with the mammoth as well. That really just broke what was left of them. Like a close victory, that's probably fair. So that's uh, some more treasury. Quite successful. So we get a unique item. Death blow and a passive ability of frenzy. So that's pretty nice. So we might uh, equip that for our final monster hunt. And we get a banner as well, Last of the Great Moorhood. Which is, is that. Okay, that's actually what gives us the ability. That's great. And stick that on one of our units. So that means that our last monster hunt will be the Abyssal Shrieker. So I'm guessing it's a Terror Geist, yep. Hunt down and slay the Ghastly Terror Geist. So that will be our next and final monster hunt. So I will see you in the that video and that will be one of our last Warhammer 1 videos uh, because Warhammer 2 is just around the corner.